Hi everybody, Mark here. I'm just down here at Walmart and uh, just past the movie shelves and seeing the movie on the shelf, I'm Not Ashamed, um, which is a wonderful, inspiring, true story about the most wonderful person I ever knew. Uh, it is based off the journals, the actual journals that me and Rachel shared. I was in ministry school back when I was 19. Uh, it's called Master's Commission, kind of like spiritual boot camp, if you will. Um, uh, pretty much straight from like being homeless down on the streets, you know, when I was 18, a dirty little graffiti, graffiti vandal. And um, I started uh, going to this youth group and uh, basically stealing food and whatnot. And I met a wonderful young lady by the name of Rachel Scott, um, who would then become the closest person I was ever to. Um, basically, in ministry school, I wasn't allowed to talk to girls my first year, as distracting as, you know. Uh, these days, cell phones, it would never fly, it would be still contact and whatnot, but we, Rachel, found a way around the rules by creating these notebooks, basically, and we seen each other twice a week, so we were able to pass these back and forth. There was four when she died. Um, so basically, we wrote poetry, we uh, painted and drew art back and forth. Um, a lot of you have seen the writings and the books and whatnot um, that her parents have put out um, and the other documentaries and everything else on her. Um, our personal journals have never been released really until this point, and bits and pieces of it have. But literally, Ben and Macy, um, Ben is a character that plays me and Macy is the one who plays Rachel. Um, that their actual dialogue, a lot of it, is actually word for word me and Rachel going back and forth through our journals as well as every voiceover in the movie is actual words um, from her to me um, or from her personal journal um, and whatnot. Um, I know being from Colorado, uh, a lot of you could be turned off because this is kind of an accurate description of the movie. Um, it's just kind of talking about Columbine, Columbine, Columbine. And being from Colorado, I mean, a lot of us were turned off by Columbine. Uh, I know I don't really watch too much about it just because it was so close to home. Obviously, I lost my best friend and soulmate there. Um, so I want you to know that it is really not about Columbine. It's about her story and life leading up until Columbine. Um, hence, uh, me and her as well. Uh, as well is it it's a faith-based movie. Uh, that's where we were. Um, we were not really concerned with being more Christian. We were both just really in love with Jesus and the concept of Jesus. Uh, because he was such a wonderful person, uh, spreading love and compassion in, to everybody who needed it. Um, and that's what she saw, you know, as well as me. And uh, that's what she saw in me, you know, being like, like a homeless scumbag, basically. Um, she saw past all of that, you know, she saw my heart. And uh, I was very blessed to be um, a part of her life and a part of her story. And this is, you know, just a small part of that but it's very powerful and I believe her spirit lives on through her message um, and through this movie you know and I am doing my best right now as most of you know I got clean back in May uh, from pretty hard drugs and a uh, pretty hard road um, as well you know is I do yoga and meditate uh, I also go to a church group uh, see you Fridays and um, we do a lot of outreach, helping homeless and helping just whoever really needs it, meeting them where they're at. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want you guys not to be turned off by, you know, if you're not a Christian, that's fine. Um, the story and the message is still very real, no matter what faith uh, you're a part of. And it's not really about making people Christian um, or any of that. It's about meeting people where they are and loving them and showing compassion, especially into a day's world today's world um, with all the crazy stuff going on with the government um, and the rest of the world um, I just want to remind you Rachel, Rachel's message to simply love um, go out of your way to find somebody who's not like you or find somebody who needs um, the love and compassion you never know what they're going through um, <laughs> I know I need as much love and compassion as I possibly can get and uh, that's why I spread it, I guess, so much. Um, it's because I know the value and the importance of it. Um, I just want to thank everybody. I want to thank Ben um, and Macy for doing such a wonderful job and the rest of the cast. Um, they have been a total blessing in my life and um, 
just knowing them is so amazing and I look forward to doing a Facebook Live with Ben, the actor that plays me, Nathan Ballard in the movie sometime in the near future, hopefully. Even if it's on my own dime and I gotta fly out to California, that is gonna be something that happens. Um, but if you don't have the movie yet or not have seen it, um, you can pick it up pretty much anywhere online here. Uh, if you do get the hard copy, there is an interview with me in it. And um, it's just a really cool like little interlude they show in the pre-screening. Um, basically, just me talking about Rachel and how wonderful she was. Um, and uh, I just want to thank everybody, you know, for your much love and support throughout this process. It's been a very hard year for me, but uh, cleaning up and getting straight and just being the best person I can be to honor my best friend ever's memory um, uh, is just a blessing in itself. Uh, I have people reach out to me every day on my fan page from the movie, um, saying how this movie changed your life. And, uh, I mean, I can't tell you enough how wonderful that is to see the spirit of her living on through all these people all over the world. I have people in me from India, from Thailand, from Australia, um, and just everywhere. And I personally get back to every single person I can. It takes a little time sometimes because I'll, obviously this is on my regular Facebook and I have 2,800 friends on here and it's hard enough to keep up with you guys, much less a you know fan page, but I do my best. Um, so, I've yapped enough. I want to get back to getting my bread and my Get on with my night adventure. Sorry about that first video. I thought it would be fun driving around the park, uh, but it's not. And I don't think anybody can understand what I said. Uh, so I just wanted to give a shout out to the movie. Uh, it is pretty cool seeing the movie on the shelves. Um, and get them while they're hot. Uh, be love, be life, be a blessing to others, uh, be alive. I love everybody. Thank you so much. Bye.